Alright guys, welcome to another video of Python and as you guys can see, I already opened the codeacademy.com So probably got the fact that this video is gonna be a practical one And today we're gonna work on function and function being code of the Python You need to have a basic or solid understanding of it For that you need to practice it a lot and that's what we're gonna do today So without wasting any more time, let's directly jump to it By the way, if you're new to codeacademy.com, just sign up to codeacademy.com using your Gmail or Facebook account so let's directly move to the function and here the introduction of function. So here we go, introduction of function. And if you're new to Python, I suggest you guys go through or read out all that theoretical portion because based on that, the instruction or question is designed. So let's directly move to the instruction and it says, watch the GIF in which add one side is a function applied to different shapes. And these shapes are act as an input and transforming them into a new one. That's what function do. Transform input into a different form. So let's directly move to the another one. Actual function. See what is function. And if you watch my previous video based on function. So probably you got that. That video is totally based on theoretical portion of function. But here we are going to talk about theoretical and practical both approach. So what is function? So here we decide all those things about function. Let's directly go to the instruction it says in the script.py we have made a function for you called sing a song. Call this function once and see what it prints. So let's call this function. For a moment, if you didn't know what is this function and how to call a function, don't worry, we're gonna talk about all those things pretty soon. So let's call this function for a moment. It says sing song. Let's run it and copy it and again saying that now call a single song function second time. So let's call them second time and let's run it. So it output all the thing whichever is in the body of function. So that's what function really do. Let's move to the next one where we really explain how to write a function. So to write a function, let's directly move to the instruction says write a function called loading screen and that prints this page is loading to the console. So let's first write a function and to write a function, first you need to define a function using DAF and then put the name of function called loading screen and then open and close parenthesis colon and then put the print or put this string that we want to print, say print and put this string within it and let's run it. See it output nothings because to run a function you need to call that function. That's what we're gonna do in the next step. We're gonna call this function called loading screen. So let's copy this and paste it over here. Call loading screen. Let's run it. And now it's gonna something is wrong. I thought it is indented. Oh, we have to remove those extra wide spaces. I'm gonna talk about that thing when we working on indentation. So let's run it and now it prints the output. So let's move to the next one and next one is wide spaces that we just commit the mistake in a previous one. Now what is this wide space like just move to the instruction and says that run a script look like uh, what is printed out. So let's first run this script according to the first question and this output all the thing in the body of this function. Now remove the indent in the second point. See second statement and then run it. Now what is this indent? Indent is the extra wide spaces that is present in the line of code. See, see if I remove these two extra wide spaces present in that particular line and let's run it now. It's gonna something is wrong. What is it is? Oh, there's a one more extra space present. Now let's run it. Now it's output all the thing. See the line, second line you'll see now it's not a part of this function because whatever the part of function that line is came with the two wide spaces. So this line is not have two wide space. So this is not the part of function. So that's what we call as an indentation. So let's move to the next one. And the next one is called parameters. So move to the instruction and instruction says that function called mul2 add 3 prints a number multiplied by 2 and add it to the 3 as it is written right now the number that is this operate is always 5 here you will see the number is given in a variable called 5 now call the function and see what it outputs so let's copy it and call this function 
and let's run it see what it output it's gonna output 30 now in the next is modify the function definition so that it has a parameter called number and then delete the number is equal to 5 so let's first remove them but the parameter is a variable that we put within these two round brackets so let's put the parameter called number and then pass a value 1 into the function while we calling now pass the value 1 and let's run that and now it output 5 move to the next one next one says call a function with a value 5 so let's copy this again and this time the parameter value is 5 let's run them and move to the next one next one says call a function with a value minus 1 so now move to minus 1 and let's run them again see it outputs now the last one says that call the value with a zero now replace one with a zero and let's run that each ones are working now move to the next problem and that one is multiple parameter in the previous one we talk about single parameter here we're going to talk about multiple parameter so let's move to the instruction instruction says the function mult to add three takes a number multiplied it by two and adds three we want to make this more flexible first change the name of the function let's change the name of the function from given one to the this one and let's run it see what it output it didn't gonna output anything because to output something out of the function you need to call that function so move to the next one and next one says now add x and y as a parameter so let's add x and y as a parameter to that function and let's run them and then we move to the next one says inside a function replace 2 into the print statement with the x and replace 3 with the y so we need to replace these two values with the x and 3 with the y let's run it again and move to the next one says call this function with these given values so it's time for calling this function with the given parameters. Let's call it and say what it is. Say 5. 5 is the number while x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Let's run it and this will output 13. And the next one says call this function with these given values. Let's copy this function and call it again. And now change the values from one three and one let's run it again and it output four so this is how multiple parameters work in a function let's move to the keyword argument so what is this keyword argument so to explain it let's directly move to the instruction portion you guys just read out that theoretical portion and because i don't have that much time so that i'll talk about that so i directly move to the instruction and instruction says create a function called create spreadsheet and then take one argument title and only print the string the given string so let's first create a function and copy the name of the function from here create a spreadsheet and this way and the argument in this function is title and then we have to return what we need to print a string called the given string so let's copy it from here and paste it See guys, the, uh, there's one thing I really want to tell you that the whole thing, whatever you write over codecacademy.com, it is pretty character sensitive. Now, if I see there's a one period symbol is present at the last, if I run it is as it is, it's going to throw errors, but I'll remove it. Now let's run it. So please take care of all the characters, whatever they demand, just write all that. Now call the function called create a spreadsheet with a value, with a title called download. Let's call this function this and the title is downloads let's copy it from here and paste within these round brackets oh, let's run see what it output it output create a spreadsheet called download now move to the third problem and this one is add a parameter row count to the function and definition and set the value is equal to 100 now this says that add a parameter called row row underscore count is equal to a thousand and let's run it and see what it output all is working now the fourth part is says change the print statement in the function 
to creating whatever it is given and where title and row count are replaced with the respective values. So let's copy this and what it says here, rows, title count with the rows. And let's copy this and we put this within that print statement. Let's put them here and now it's time for manipulating it. See, is this spreadsheet called title? So let's add this with the row count. So row count, we have to convert that row count to a string. So let's do this because row count is the integer. And let's run it. See, there's a problem with this code. So string and, and oh, we didn't add this. Okay, title and then we'll say this one and now let's run it and see is it working no it's not working yet what could be the problem so let me check it out first so here we go it's okay if you didn't get the what could be the error just don't waste your time a lot much because we have a limited time so let's do one thing is that let's directly go to the solution and it says everything see what could be the problem in our code and they say something different See, what is the problem is that title, we didn't add that particular thing, okay, that could be the problem. So let's, got it, okay, now let's move to the next one, and uh, next one is called return, using a return statement in a function. So let's directly move to the instruction portion, and instruction says calculate function, call, function name called calculate is, here we define a function name, and creates a variable called age, and the difference between age and current is and worthy of both of these are input to the function and add a line to return is okay we have to add up another line called return age so let's run it so it seems to be working now outside a function called calculate is okay we'll copy that function and let's call this function here this and then say ways with the value 2018 as a current year say 2018 and 1993 as a worth year and save the value to a variable now let's create a variable called my a is equal to this and let's run it see it seems to be working yeah now move to the next one and next one says Call calculate is with a value 2018 and worth is equals to 1953. Okay, let's call it again and save it to dad's age. Dad's underscore is and equal to call calculate is and the value is 2018 and 19. Let's put the parameter 1953. And the final thing we need to print. Okay, let's copy it from here. And paste it within that this and now let's replace this X with the curly braces because we're gonna put the value of my age and dad's is within these curly braces so let's say this and at the end let's put the value using format function say dot format format and say my underscore age the first value is gonna replace with that particular one and then say dad's underscore age i just got a one thing we just define this variable wrongly so let's replace it now let's run it see you see it output all the thing that i am 25 year old and my dad is 65 year old so that's what the basic aim of this particular thing now multiple return values here we return one particular value now multiple return values let's move to the instruction and instruction says write a function called get boundary so let's first write that function Control C and say def function name and that takes two parameter called target target and margin these two parameters and it should create two variable called low limit and low limit is equivalent to call target minus margin and the next one is high limit it is equivalent to margin added with the target and let's run them see it output oh what's wrong with this we define something wrongly ta where it is oh it's target let's run it again 
and all is working now the next one is written both low limit and high limit say return low limit and high underscore limit so oh something oh uh, yes here we got it now let's run it and then move to the next one and next one says call a function on a target value is equals to 100 and margin equals to 10 so let's 20 let's run it and let's call the function say this and value 100 and 20 and save these return values to a variable low and high see how do we do that for that we create two variables called low and high and put them equivalent into the function and let's run that and see what it output it output everything now move to the next one says print the output says let's print the output print let's copy that string from here control c and paste it within this round bracket let's run that see it oh what happened what's wrong with this no actually we forget to replace these values and we say dot format format and say low and high and now let's run down see it output lower limit is equivalent to 80 and higher limit is equivalent to 120 so let's move to the next one and next one is scope now what is this scope let's first read that out because i didn't define it when we we're talking about function so let's first read that particular thing say let's we have our function from the last exercise and create a string about simple term so here we create a string and put a parameter simple term within those curly or round brackets and return a particular thing now now what if you want to access that variable called special item outside of the function can we use it so this is about the scope of the function so let's directly move to the instruction then i'll explain what is this scope See outside of the function calculate is okay. Say print current year now. Okay, we're gonna say print current, which is a parameter of the given function. Now we are printing this. Probably this is gonna throw error. See it throws error says current year is not defined because current year is the parameter of that particular function. And the next one says what about age? Let's print that age and say print. See and let's run them again now again it shows error so here the scope comes in action so here we talk about scope so whatever we define within that particular function see the variable called age this variable is defined within that function so that's why this particular variable called the local variable and when we define that particular variable outside of the function that time it call as a global variable and it is a global scope now let's move to the next one it says no even though we return is at the end of the function the variable is still only exists within the context of the function means it's a local variable so let's move to the okay so remove both print statement let's remove them and move to the next one and next one says let's try to different remove the parameter current year okay just remove that particular parameter and then say now it's no longer parameter of calculate is okay let's run them okay it's working and next thing is that it is 2048 define a current year as a variable okay in the outside of the function so this one is called the global variable because we define that outside of the function and it is equal to 2048 now let's run it see now now every time you calculate is it should be only taken worth here yes let's run it and this time it probably working there's no error because we define that particular variable outside of the function and then we use that within our function so here the global variable is used in function but we can't use a local variable outside the function so let's move to the next one says try to print current year last time okay let's print this say print now it is what current year and let's run it now it's gonna print 2048 so next thing is that calculate is now print the value say print calculate year no it's calculate is function and within that function we give the value 9070 and let's run them 
seed output 78 so this is how a scope of a variable is defined so scope is generally used for a variable when we define within a function it's called local when we define outside of the function it's called global so let's move to the next exercise and this is a review we're going to use all the concepts that we learned throughout that particular section so let's check that out move to the instruction it says define a function called repeated stuff okay let's create a function called repeated stuff say tab first create a or define a function and then put the name of the function open close parenthesis and then takes two argument input and stuff and number repeat say stuff and num repeat this function takes two argument and we will want to make the function print a string with the stuff repeated with the number of repeat so the amount of time for now only put an empty print statement print so there's nothing in that particular print statement let's run it and move to the next one outside of function call the print stuff okay no repeat stuff so we call that particular function and call repeat stuff probably okay it's okay let's run it and here we go oh what's wrong with this something is wrong no, 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 it's not about second part. It says that outside a function call repeat stuff. Okay, we call it and you can use the value row. We have to define two given parameters. So that's what you forget. We just run it without even defining the parameter. Row and stuff. So let's define them row. Let's copy them from here and paste them here. And done. And next one is copy it and paste them over three and let's run them now now see it is working yeah see it is working now next move to the next one and next one says change the print statement inside a repeated stuff to return okay we'll change this print statement to return return and really and it return the stuff multiplication number of repeats let's copy them from here and paste them and let's run it again see what it output it didn't output anything right now is now given the parameter num repeat a default value equals to 10 now let's make this equivalent to 10 and let's run it again so here we use all the concept that we learned from previous ones so it's working and say add repeat stuff row and a string your word okay we'll add say to a variable called lyrics so we define a new variable called lyrics and is equal to repeat stuff addition what we need to add to your word okay we'll copy this from here and add it move to the next one says create a variable called song and song is equal to what repeat stuff and within that function we define lyrics okay yeah we define lyrics and let's run them and see it's working now in the last tab we need to do what we need to print that song now we create that song using different variables so let's print song and here we go see here the whole song is printed right now row row your vote and i think we are done with that particular function exercise yes we are done so this is all about the practical approach of function and how we use function practically in various problems and trust me, if you work on a larger code like you while you're working on AI, you're going to use this function a lot. And if you guys have any question, please let me in the comment section and try them out. All that code that we just discussed for yourself, because that's what you need most while you're beginning. You need to practice code a lot. And thanks for all your support and subscription. And if you're new over here, consider subscribing. Just click that subscription button. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.